All right, well, we'll wrap up um, so we can get everyone out on time. First of all, an enormous thank you. I'm going to need um, some slides in a second. Um, first of all, an enormous thank you to uh, all of you for coming and participating. It's been a very interactive day. Uh, I think that the spirit of everyone spending today and everyone, all of us being as, as flat a structure as we could possibly be has been great. I'm looking forward to going in and capturing and reading everything that's been written up on the walls in there. Um, I'm sure it'll be slightly different than some of the stuff that was written up on the walls during the Gov hack. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Uh, we will be following up from today with a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, a report about the day, all of the stuff that's been live streamed is already available on demand on the livestream.com slash govcamp, which is also linked through from the govcampau.org website. Uh, we'll be following up with a bit of analysis of the social media from the day, uh, doing a bit of a report of the ideas that have come out of the day, and we'll be contributing to the um, Department of Innovation's um, uh, report on, on their academic forum as well. We'll be hopefully combining it all into a very short video that'll showcase the value of GovHack and GovCamp today. So thank you all for your contributions to that. Um, we, I just wanted to also uh, again say a huge thanks to the uh, inspiring leadership panel that we had before and to, the, um, and to all of the speakers that we've had all day. I think it's been a, a, a quite a good lineup and a lot of thoughts for us to go away and think about. Um, so I'll jump into the, the sponsor thanks um, if we can. Oh, we can do that if you like. So first of all, we had a lot of, uh, this event was um, sponsored as part of a package with GovHack. So a lot of the people that came on board came on board to support both events. We had a lot of government support. The first and most important one, uh, which is clear there, but uh, is the Australian Government Information Management Office. But we also had five other government departments and agencies get involved, including the ACT government and Ausgol as well, um, uh, Bureau of Meteorology, GS. Geoscience Australia and a, a few others that are not on the top of my head. Uh, we also had Adobe, Mailchimp and Palantir be our, our gold sponsors. Our silver sponsors were Cisco, Google, Ninefold, CSIRO and the e-government technology cluster. We had a lot of in-kind support, which was wonderful. Uh, Atlassian provided support for the GovHack. Um, Link Digital did all of our website uh, stuff, which was fabulous, particularly for the GovHack where we needed a lot of team support. MOB ran an augmented reality um, conference for the GovHack. Newcast have done just the most incredible job of um, live streaming everything today and um, some of the significant proportions of the GovHack. So if you join me in thanking them, they've done an amazing job. They make us look good. Um, Salesforce actually did um, social media reporting, which will be part of the report that we will put up. And we'll put these reports up on the GovCamp AU website, so just stay tuned to that and a whole bunch of stuff will go up over the next week or two as soon as we get some sleep. Um, University of Canberra, isn't this just the most amazing space? They inspire it, so huge thank you to them. Gov2 Radio have been running around doing interviews all day, creating a lot of value for our um, national and international watchers and getting them engaged in the conversation. So an enormous thank you to them. DLib have done some um, ideas, voting and commenting sort of system for uh, the, the two events that we'll be going back and analysing. And Webcast Cloud did a little bit of work on some streaming such. The organisers, um, I'd like to invite to the stage, and none of you are not able to do this. Um, <laughs> Jeff Mason uh, coming up. Gavin Tapp. Please come up. Claire Payne, wherever you are, yep. Uh, Michelle Carden, I can see you, Michelle. No, you kind of a. Nerida Hart, I think, yep, there she is. Steve Davies actually had to go home sick, uh, so which is unsurprising that we're not all sick because we've been sleepless and such. <laughs> Alex Sadlier, I'm not sure if he's here, but he mostly helped out with the Gov hack. Um, and Tom Worthington. Tom is driving someone to the airport. That's how committed we are. Um, this team, I mean, half of the team are public servants. The other half are a combination of academic and, um, and pro, you know, own businesses or corporate. And um, we've all just put in an enormous effort. So thank you to everyone for all of the work you've done. I'd like you to join me, please. <laughs> no. Two seconds. Oh, sorry. He has already received this one, so I'll be very quick with this one. Um, I just want, the team wanted to thank Pia, and I know that a number of our sponsors wanted to thank Pia for getting everybody on board and driving the leadership of the two events which have taken place. It's taken a lot of time to achieve what we've achieved. Um, and if you track Pia's Twitter stream, you can probably see the 3.30 a.m. tweets about when she was getting up to start work. So I'd just like to thank Pia, to Pia again for driving the leadership. Almost 15 years in the open source community, I've learned how to herd cats. I'll let you guys sit back down because I know how annoying it is to stand. Um, uh, a couple of other quick thanks. So I've 
There's a taxi waiting if anyone needs it. <laughs> Not anyone, obviously, on the stream. That would be weird. Um, so th there's more stuff coming. Basically, we're looking at running this every year. If we run a Gov Hack and a Gov Camp here in Canberra every year, we think that it helps us set the narrative, set the agenda, um, get some leadership, and hopefully every year, year after year, we can actually raise the bar and actually continue to move forward and have a point every year where we can look back and measure how we're going, um, not against any specific criteria necessarily, but just see if we're moving forward and just um, as a community to come together as well. I would highly recommend you all uh, get involved in the Gov2.0 community. There are mailing lists. There are meetings, there are all kinds of great stuff happening all around Australia and the best way that we can all move forward is to look at what's happening elsewhere, build on the precedents that have come before, set some new precedents and make it more comfortable for all of us to actually uh, move forward. I, I hate that term now, but you know what I'm saying. So um, I, I think we should wrap up there. We're wrapping up exactly on time. Uh, thank you again all so much and look forward to seeing you next time. Have I missed anything? No, I think you've got everything. Okay, oh, one final last... Oh yeah, part of Innovation Week. One last thank you to um, Gov Camp Queensland. So the first Gov Camp ran here in Canberra last October. Since then, there's been one in Sydney, one in Queensland. The Gov Camp Queensland logo is what we um, we stole with permission. We did ask, um, but thank you very much to them for making a pretty Gov Camp logo. And um, oh, I think they'll find it soon. But um, and I guess the final thing is that uh, this has part of, been part of Innovation Week. Thank you very much to the Department of Innovation for their participation. Obviously, part of today has also been the Academic Forum, which was made up of the Academic Panel this morning and the Academic Workshop later this afternoon. And um, hopefully that was very useful for all, all of them as well. But it's been great to get such a diverse group into the same rooms together and uh, have some fantastic conversation. Thank you again and have a good, good day.